over to criminal defense attorney and legal expert John Henry Brown, who's joining us live this morning to talk more about this arraignment and possible next steps even for this case. So John, first of all, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I want to get right to the question about the suspect's decision on standing silent and not actually verbally saying or entering a plea. Can you explain a little bit about what that means? Well, it's not uncommon. Um, and it, it really doesn't have any legal significance. Um, the judge enters when you don't say uh, not guilty or guilty, which of course wouldn't happen in this case, the judge will normally enter pleas for you and that's usually always not guilty. So that's not really very unusual. It doesn't really have a lot of meaning. And so let's talk about next steps because we do know now that the trial will begin or set to begin October 2nd and the, the uh, attorney for Koberger actually asked for a slightly longer, she actually asked for it to be pushed as far back as November. Do you think that, what is? what do you think that the defense is now working on at this time? Well, uh, that's a really early trial date for a death penalty case. Uh, I, I would, uh, I'm assuming um, that that date will be continued again. Um, you know, in cases like this, uh, I've had a lot of the material that's online uh, in the court pleadings, and I'm sure there's a lot of DNA evidence that may or may not be questionable. There'll probably be a battle of the experts on DNA uh, and perhaps some other crime scene uh, experts. So I think an October trial date is very optimistic. Um, um, the death penalty cases I've handled, we had more than a year at a minimum to uh, prepare for trial. And of course, probably one of the best known cases that you are known for representing, of course, is Ted Bundy. And so you have tons of expertise in dealing with cases of this magnitude. Is there anything else that people should know about who aren't necessarily as familiar with the legal system in trying to follow this case? Well, um, it's not well known, but it's true. And I actually write a little book, but uh, I'm not plugging it. <laughs> But um, I've got a um, plea bargain for Ted involving four states that if he pled guilty in Florida, he would avoid the death penalty. And it took a while, but myself and another attorney uh, talked him into it. He signed the paperwork. We walked into court. He said he's not going to do it. And that was the last I decided to help him. Uh, you know, basically, if you want to die, then I don't have time for you. Um, I would think in most, almost all cases involving the death penalty, there's um, rigorous uh, plea bargaining going on. When I represented Sergeant Bales, who was charged with some homicides in Afghanistan, um, it was a death penalty case, and we resolved that case uh, by taking the death penalty off the table after a lot of work. Um, so. And here, uh, see in Idaho, you get preliminary hearings. We don't in Washington. Um, normally, if you're indicted or charged by information, you don't get a preliminary hearing. Preliminary hearing could be very interesting in this case. It's a preview. It's a preview of what the government has. And the defense has a, a good opportunity to question the evidence and get more information at a, uh, excuse me, um, at a preliminary hearing. Um, it's interesting that <clears throat> excuse me, um, there's a book that's recently released called Justice in the Time of Judgment by Anne Bremner, B-R-E-M-N-E-R, -E and her brother Doug Bremner. It's an excellent book for everybody involved in this to read because it's very timely because the question they ask is, is it possible to get a fair trial in the time of social media? Uh, and I personally, unfortunately, think it's not. Um, that social media has really changed uh, the presumption of innocence and proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, I'm sure there's thousands, if not millions, of um, texts and emails and posts on this case. I'm sure most of them are uh, against the defendant. Um, so... It's a really interesting book because uh, they came to the conclusion, and Ann Bremner was a longtime prosecutor, um, very well known, uh, and it's a really good book. But uh, I don't think it's possible to get a fair trial anymore with a case where there's a lot of uh, 
pretrial detention. You know, in Canada, it's against the law to have pretrial publicity of any kind. No, the reason I they do that is, yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. And um, that's actually and, another one of the things that has many people talking, of course, is the gag order that we will be hearing a little bit more on a little later this morning. But that gag order issued out by another judge, actually, one of the reasons they said for it was so that there would be access to a fair trial. Do you think a gag order in this case actually does help the proceedings? Well, I think it certainly indicates that the judges, that judge, which was really trying the best to uh, provide this defendant with a fair trial. But I think the cat's out of the bag. Um, first of all, a, a judge, no judge, can um, prohibit citizens in general from making comments online um, or live or written. Um, the only jurisdiction the court has, you'll, you'll probably like this because I don't think the judge has jurisdiction to uh, silence the press. Uh, I think that's a real, I, I hope you have good lawyers on that. <laughs> because I think the judge only has jurisdiction over the parties, which would be the state uh, and the defendant and his defense team. But I, I was very impressed. I read the order. I was very impressed that the judge is trying to do his, I think it was a male judge, uh, his best to uh, silence um, the pre-trial publicity. But that's it. I mean, he may enter the order, but, you know, the damage has already been done. I mean, I don't think Mr. Koberger, and, and I'm no fan, obviously, but um, I don't think Mr. Koberger can get a fair trial anywhere. Um, well, John, I want to thank just, you so much for your time this morning. We have to wrap things up right now. 